Just because you get a lot of attention from men doesn't mean you're a high-value woman. Ranking high from a sexual perspective doesn't really make you wifey material. These are the bimbos. All surface, no substance. They'll have fun with you. They'll sleep with you. They'll date you. They'll go on trips with you. They might even buy you gifts. But they likely have no intention of putting a ring on your finger and starting a family with you. Or if they do, you may have a passive role. What's going on, guys? This is Eddie, the African Red Pew. Welcome to the video. Today's video is part two of signs to look out for for a low value woman it's a continuation from a video i did a few days ago so this is part two if you didn't watch part one watch it and then watch this one or you can watch it in whatever order you want to let's get into it number six out of shape Fitness is a massive attribute in the way society perceives, judges, and ranks individuals. The healthier a person is, the more appealing they are, so the demand for that person increases, just from a physical perspective. To many people, poor fitness signals a lack of self-awareness. They may not realize that they're not a healthy weight a lack of self-esteem. They don't take themselves seriously because they don't take care of themselves. A lack of self-control. They just can't stop eating their feelings. And a lack of discipline. They're unable to follow a program and self-motivate. Plus, the more out of shape a person is, the more likely they are to experience illness and disease. And people will look at that and see the potential struggles of the future. The level of your fitness is under your control. Even with genetic complications, there are steps you can take to be in the best possible shape you can be. We actually live in the weirdest time in history where more people die of obesity-related complications than of hunger. Think of the flippening that happened. For centuries, only the rich were fat because only they had access to food. These days, on average, it's the rich who are fit and active, while the poor are bigger and unhealthy. Ladies, listen to his key secret. If you do this, you'll be ahead of the competition on the dating market scene. Having a good body, fitness, will make you to be ahead of your competition. Once you're ahead of the competition, many you'll be winning on the dating market scene and you own the win by becoming fit or by staying fit. If you become a fat piece of shit, you lose value. Facts don't care about your feelings. It's not about how you're feeling, but it's about what are the facts. If you're fat and in your head you think you're looking good, that's in your own little bubble. But in reality, if you're fat, you're not attractive to men out there. Of course, there are some outliers where you can find certain men who will be attracted to you, even if you're fat. But do you want to live with outliers or you, you want to live with uh, generalities? Exceptions don't make the rule. So if you want to have more chances, become fit and be in good shape. And then, let's say you are a woman who's in her 30s and above. 30 is an age which is considered to be when a woman starts losing her value. But there's an exception to this. You can have longevity by staying in shape. If you go to the gym as a woman, you lengthen your days of being beautiful and attractive out there. That's why you see certain women who are older, but they're in good shape. They look great. They look like they're not 30 or 40. Find that a 30 year old is looking like she's a 22 year old. It's because she's in good shape. And then somebody who takes care of their body shows display. If you take care of your body, it means you're disciplined. And if you're disciplined, it brings those positive things. Number seven, trashy. Trashy in this case is the opposite of elegant stature. Society values women who have grace, that show self-respect. Remember, others treat us the way that we treat ourselves. Respect yourself and others will respect you. 
we're not looking to shame anybody, but from a probability perspective, in life, you get what you advertise. You can't behave in trashy ways and then be shocked that others don't value that behavior and aren't putting themselves on a silver platter for you. This is a two-way street. You need to take yourself seriously. No matter how beautiful you are, if you could put him out, if you could vulgar language as a woman, it takes away from your attraction. Meaning if you're a 10, and then you've got to put him out, it takes away probably four or five points from you. You become a five, if not worse. So a trashy mouth is not attractive at all. You can ask anyone. So trashy ways is not only about you having a potty mouth, even just your lifestyle. Drinking excessively, behaving stupidly, sexualizing yourself in public, not having morals, forgetting that you're supposed to be moral by the end of the day, living carefree, all that crap like you attract what you are. So if you're if you're a trashy person and then you attract a trashy person, don't blame the trashy person you've attracted. You attracted that person in the first place because of who you are. Number eight, unresolved trauma of the past. There are four billion women in the world. Statistically, some of them have had rough childhoods. Some had problems with their early relationships or haven't been able to develop themselves accordingly. That's why therapy is trending. You need to find ways to solve your past so it's not as much of a burden in the present. The more troubled, the more quote unquote damaged, the higher maintenance you'll be. That's just a fact. And when we say maintenance here, we're not talking about money. We're talking about the amount of patience, time, and effort. Levels that go above and beyond what's required in your average healthy relationship. This is a cost that someone will have to bear just to be with you. And if all other variables are the same, statistically, someone who doesn't need this much work to be done will be chosen more often and will excel in their life and careers. You are not responsible for what happened to you in your past. However, you are responsible for your healing and what happens to you in the future. Most of you people out there, most of you women out there, almost all your, your relationships are doomed or almost all your relationships get to fail because you've got some unresolved trauma. Even if you find the best man you can ever find, you still mess it up because of the trauma. If you know that you had a rough childhood or if you know that there's something that happened that ended up messing up your mind such that you became traumatized, seek therapy. When you seek therapy, when you get better, then you'll be ready to date. If you date when you're not ready, you never know that actually you've missed out on somebody who would have been the best partner for you. But because of you not taking accountability and being in denial, you don't seek therapy such that your trauma affects you for life. Trauma is one of the worst things you can ever take to a relationship. And then the more traumatized you are, the more mistakes you make. You sleep around with different men without having to care about it, not knowing that your decisions or your actions are making you to be even more traumatized because you're blocking those feelings. And when you block those feelings, you get to do things without using logic. And for most ladies, you, use, you need to use emotions to make decisions. So if you block out emotions, meaning you do things that will contribute to you being worse off. If you meet a guy who's got no trauma, who's got no issues, who wants to be with somebody who's sane, they won't have patience for your damaged ass or something like that. So if you get to meet the best guy you can ever meet, they won't have patience for you. If you come with baggage, they'll leave you and try to seek for somebody who's not as bad as you. You might be beautiful, but that doesn't matter. So be serious and act responsibly you want to attract the right person in life. If you're watching this and then you're saying that you, you don't want to date, then this video is not for you. But if you want to find the best partner you can ever find out there, then this video is for you. Let's check out the other side. Number nine, controlling, jealous, and unable to show trust. 
some women are obsessed with control. They're unable to show trust. Both being trustworthy and the ability to show trust are traits valued by society, peers, and potential partners. And this usually stems from personal insecurities. Deep down, they may think they're not worthy of the partner or they have trust issues from past relationships. So they're constantly looking for reasons to measure them down or cast doubt over what they say. These are the women that go through their partner's phones, emails. They don't allow them to be in the presence of other women. They're always looking for fire, even when there isn't any smoke. Being in a relationship with these kinds of women makes the individual feel trapped and minimized. Nobody can build a life with someone who they don't trust or that doesn't trust them. For that's what committing to building anything of value is. Men are simple creatures. The only thing they need from you is peace and you to be submissive and be intellect enough so that you can converse with him so that you don't have to be a boring couple. But if you bring trauma like jealousy, whatever controlling, it means you've taken away the basic things he needs. Meaning, if you find something better, he'll teach you and go for that. So, if you want to be in a good relationship with the man of your dreams, give him peace. Don't be jealous. Don't be controlling. Don't be anything negative he doesn't need in his life. Once and not all those things, then you'll be in a good relationship. Drama leads to breakups. Let's check out the next sign. Number 10. A good time, not a long time. Just because you get a lot of attention from men doesn't mean you're a high-value woman. Ranking high from a sexual perspective doesn't really make you wifey material. These are, for lack of a better word, the bimbos. All surface, no substance. They'll have fun with you. They'll sleep with you. They'll date you. They'll go on trips with you. They might even buy you gifts. But they likely have no intention of putting a ring on your finger and starting a family with you. Or if they do, you may have a passive role. Trophy wife isn't what it used to be because men have standards and although they take pride in your beauty, they don't want you to embarrass them in front of their peers. And this is where even very attractive women struggle because a high value woman is more than just looks. Looks are a depreciating asset. Meaning, if looks are all you bring to the table, your perceived value over time decreases as your youthful beauty begins to fade. And then you're seen by these men as a liability. Even if they get married, these are usually the women replaced with a younger spouse because the kind of men they attract only cares about looks. This is where most women mess it up, or this is where most women are clueless about. Because, just because you're attracting a lot of men, doesn't mean that you've got value enough for a relationship. One thing you should never forget is that almost all the men, or let me just say every man, when he's talking to you, he just wants sex from you. So just because you give a man sex, doesn't mean that you've gotten him. You can be giving him sex, but you still end up wiping somebody else, or you end up being in a serious relationship with somebody else. And all you ever be is a putico. But most women like deriving their value from these types of stupid things, like just because they're getting attention and they think they're valuable, Attention doesn't mean you're valuable enough for a serious relationship. Sex doesn't mean that you're valuable enough for a serious relationship. Just like the lady said in the video, I don't even need to expand more. This is clearly elaborated what men out there look for in a good woman. So if almost all these signs that we've talked about fit in well with you and you want to have a good marriage or a good relationship, then you've got some work to do. Go work on yourself. Become the best woman you can be. It's not too late. Even if you've been through a lot of life experience, there's, there's, there's some guy out there who, who, who will settle for you because you've worked on yourself and you portray qualities of a woman. So work on yourself. Try to delete 
all these signs I've talked about from your life. And this time, the better chance than a lot of women out there who don't know about this message. Yeah. So this is part two of the series. We're remaining with one part. When I'm done with one part, I'll talk about positive signs to look in a high-value woman. Maybe you might have those signs. So stick around and watch all this series. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe so that you can watch the videos when I upload them. Hit like, comment uh, on the topic. If you've got anything you want to contest or argue against, you can type it in the comment section. Yeah, this is where I'm going to end my video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace! Thank you.